That's right. I have it. Everyone has weaknesses. No one, I repeat, no one is happy every single day. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Phil Heath, seven-time Mr. Olympia champion, opens up about his mental health. He posts a video, says he's had body dysmorphia for over 20 years. Video after video, I keep warning people of the dangers of bodybuilding and comparing yourself to other people. Oftentimes, people think, if I could only lose the weight, if I could get my dream physique, then I'll be happy. Problem is, it never works. No matter how good you get, no matter how good you look, you will always struggle with your appearance. Whether you're Phil Heath, Chris Bumstead, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the list goes on and on. Everyone suffers and battles with how they look and how they present themselves to the world. A lot of us suffer from body dysmorphia, but you really are looking great. You're putting the effort into yourself and you're working hard. Not a lot of people are able to do that for themselves. You have to appreciate how far you've come in this journey towards your goals. And so whether you're skinny, skinny, fat, tall, short, hot, ugly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Rock knows it doesn't matter. What really matters is how do you feel about yourself on the inside? The inside, what really counts? What you think about, the way you perceive yourself, your self-esteem, self-confidence, and how you deem yourself to be worthy to be in this world. I body dysmorphia. That's right. I have it. I've had it for a very long time, well over 20 years, um, but most importantly over the last tw uh, two years. And although Phil has had this for over 20 years, it's gotten worse. And so I know many of you watching this are younger, you're perhaps in your teens, 20s, 30s, and so on, and you don't know what it's like to get older. How could you? You're not older yet. And so I think it's very important that you listen to older people such as myself or Phil Heath to explain to you what it's like to go through bodybuilding, training, and so on. And so this is generally the road of health and fitness. You get into training health and fitness, and you start improving. New begins. You look much better. You get addicted to the feeling of improvement, the dopamine, the rush, the reflection, the mirror that keeps getting better. And it's fun. That's why we like it. Year after year, you keep improving. And perhaps you start feeling about yourself. But for the most part, you start comparing yourself to people who are even better than you. And so at the start, perhaps you didn't look that great. You weren't very confident and you start making improvements. You get leaner, you put on muscle. But what happens is you start then comparing yourself to others. You're on social media. You see all the best superstars of the world, the top 1% of the top 1%. And you think, I'm not that good. I'm not even near as good as that person. And so you keep pushing yourself. You keep striving for greatness. Many people will say, oh, that's good. That's what creates a champion. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have Tiger Woods. We wouldn't have Chris Bumstead, Phil Heath. But at what cost? Is it worth it? I can tell you YouTubers, they have millions of followers. Most of them, not happy. Why? Because they keep comparing themselves to other people. Oh, I only made $5 million this year. That guy made 10. I only drive 13 sports cars. I need 14. And so if you can never be content with yourself or the things you have, the relationships you have, how are you ever going to be happy? And so as you make your way up the ranks in health and fitness, there will become a time where you have to say yes or no to drugs. That's right. Drugs. Performance enhancing drugs. I can tell you when I was younger, it was a lot easier. It was harder to get, harder to compare yourself. There was no Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. But in today's day and age, everyone at some point is going to be given a choice. Should you remain natural or should you go enhanced? And so consider this. If you're suffering from body dysmorphia, you're unhappy with your appearance, and you're comparing yourself to others who are perhaps better than you, what are the chances you're going to be able to say no? Not very good. How could you? You don't feel confident about yourself. You're thinking your body is not good enough. It's not worthy. Even though it is, of course it is. And so eventually, you give in. You cave. You say, I'm going to start taking that. But uh, it'll only be HRT. But like, I would only ever do like a TRT dose. I only do one SARM cycle. I'm not greedy. I just want to put on 10 pounds of muscle. Then I'll be happy. Do you think anyone has ever done this and been successful? Yeah, I did one cycle of SARMs, 10 pounds of muscle, kept all the gains, stopped, and now I'm forever happy. It's never happened. It's not going to happen. And so what can you start doing? Look yourself in the mirror. Phil Heath suggests, look in the mirror and tell yourself you are worthy. 
You need to love yourself. I remember back 30 years ago, watch a show, Oprah Winfrey. She said, in order to love other people, you need to learn to love yourself first. You are most important. You. You might think, no, it's my kids, my husband, my friends, and so on. No. If you're not happy, everyone in your circle suffers. Your mental health is paramount. It's the number one thing in this world. You need to be healthy. Not just physical, but mental, social, spiritual. Everything needs to be healthy. And if there's something off, everyone around you is going to suffer. I promise you, everyone will suffer. And I want you guys to all know that you're strong and you are extremely worthy but you have to start with loving yourself. And so you are worthy. You need to stop criticizing yourself to think that you're not good enough, that you're worthy of love from not only yourself, but your friends, everyone to be respected. And you need to go after it. Don't just sit back and let life pass you by. Go after it. You can do it. And it might seem daunting right now. It might seem too difficult, but all you do is you take it one day at a time. One day, you think, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go face the world. Do the best that you can. Go harder than last time. Take your time. It's not going to be easy. Of course it's not. It's not going to be done in days, weeks, months. It's going to take years, decades. And so this battle, this journey, it's not going to be easy. But all you can do is the best that you can do. You go harder than last time. Not every day is going to be easy. Some days it's going to be bad. You're going to fail. You're going to stumble and fall, but you're going to pick yourself back up again and keep trying. Some days you can't do it. That's okay. The next day, can you do better than that? If you can, you do it. And if you don't, you try again the next day. You never give up. And so Phil, he's getting older. He's in his 40s. Used to be the world's best bodybuilder, seven-time Mr. Olympia champion. He's not that anymore. And so imagine this. You once had the best physique in the world, perhaps of all time. But you can't be that person forever. Father time eventually going to catch up with us. We can't look amazing forever. How many 95-year-olds look like Mr. Olympia champions? Almost zero. How many 95-year-olds look like Chris Bumstead? Zero. And so no matter how great you are, eventually... You're going to go down. And so what happens is many people, after doing that first SARM cycle or that little bit of HRT, they think, wow, that was amazing. I want more. And they keep doing more and more. And eventually, you know what happens? Kidney problems, heart attacks, strokes. And it doesn't just happen from people using the craziest doses, the IP pros of the world. This can happen to anyone. And so as you get older and you retire from bodybuilding and you say, I'm just going to do HRT. If you got by and you still have your health, you are lucky. I right now consider myself very fortunate. Not just because I survived that extreme car accident but because I survived abusing steroids for over 10 years. But do I know I really survived it? I don't know. How do I know the irreversible damage that I've done from abusing PDs for all those years? I don't. Perhaps it shortens my life 20, maybe even 50 years. We don't know. But what I do know is you have a choice right now. You can decide to stay natural, to stop comparing yourself to other people, to be the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself, it's not in comparison to someone else. It's not as good as your neighbor, your friend, your boyfriend, girlfriend, circle friend. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The best version of yourself is the best that you can do. And only you will know if you're doing the best you can. It's not whether you record your training session at the gym, whether you know you cheated on your diet or not. It's whether you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I tried. I really did try. doesn't matter what other people think. Oh, you didn't push yourself. You didn't go hard enough. You cheated. I don't believe you. Can you look at yourself in the mirror when no one around is looking and say, I gave it my best. I did all that I could do. And if you can... You won. I don't care what place you got. Last place, you never got the job. You couldn't get that girl boy to like you. You only lost one pound in last month despite starving yourself. If you can look in the mirror and say, I tried, then you're the freaking champion. And so mental health, it's a battle that every person on this planet has to suffer with. Everyone has weaknesses. 
No one, I repeat, no one is happy every single day. You're going to have highs. You're going to have lows. And what makes you a champion is, can you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I try. Keep trying. Don't give up. You are worthy. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Go harder than last time. Ending it here. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. Like the video if you like it. Add a comment. Helps with the algo. Watch the boobs. And don't forget, HTLT subs. Code Greg. 10% off. Interested in the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. The phone consults. Code Greg. 10% off. Follow me. IG. Greg Doucette. IFBB Pro. And until next time, I am out.